Hello, hello. Um, if you're watching this right now, um, you see that I have the TV on display again. And we're just going to kind of do the um, the thing that we did with the inauguration or whatever it was I watched uh, with the Joe Biden thing. Um, and yet this time, obviously, as you can see, it's uh, the Chauvin verdict um, that has been reached. Um, He's been on trial, I think, for the last two weeks. I watched almost every hour of those two weeks. Um, very, very, very tough to watch over and over and over again. The uh, essentially the end of, of someone's life. Um, you know, there's there was a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot about this case that was very, very um, twisted. There's a lot about this case that was forgotten. There's a lot of witnesses uh, to. Uh, in regards to this case that pled the fifth, as, as is their right. Um, but there's a lot of shenanigans as far as the, the case is concerned. Um, and uh, and the prosecution did their best as far as um, having reliable, the best reliable witnesses possible. Now, that being said, a lot of their witnesses um, did a lot better as far as um, their expertise, uh, opinions, and things of that nature um, sided a little bit more with the defense team. Um, so there was, there was a lot of that going on. Um, I'm not sure if um, I'm not sure if they're fighting or, or ready to reach a super second third degree murder uh, charge. I do I do have an understanding that he will more than likely be charged with manslaughter um, if nothing else. And, you know, that, that, that'd probably be the most logical response um, when it comes to this case. Um, if you can see, there's these chats here, right? And it's interesting to see a lot of the things. A lot of it is kids. You can tell when it's like nine-year-old kids and they're saying, racist stuff and words and white power and this and that. You can totally tell. There is there is a difference though, because you can tell when it's a troll and you can tell when it's somebody legit um, adding fuel to the fire as far as racism and racist uh, terms and words are concerned. Um, you can see there's obviously a huge crowd gathered. This reminds me a lot of the uh, OJ case. Um, I don't know if a lot of you remember it, but I remember it quite well. I was still a baby, but I do remember it. I do remember OJ um, being the absolute killer of all afternoon cartoons. I'll never forget that. May they rest in peace. So yeah, a lot of people ready, ready, to, ready to throw down, man. I mean, I don't. I don't know if, if it, it, it doesn't feel like there's any sense of, of hostility here in my town personally. But again, I haven't been outside. I don't know exactly what the reactions are going to be. I don't know if there's protests ready to go here. Um, but it definitely looks like there's going to be some shit going down in Minneapolis, which has been happening for the last few days. County Government Center. You can see the members of the National Guard, one of the 3,000 National Guard members who have been activated in- Oh, wow, look at these fellas. Good Lord, this is creeping me out. <laughs> wow. Carriers going through the streets of Minneapolis. It's too tight here probably to see the boarded up windows, most of the businesses. And so the verdict was supposed to be read between the hour, uh, between 3.30 and 4 central time. It is now 4.02 central time. So any minute now, we should be, we should be getting it, getting it on. It's been an interesting year to understand that Black Lives Matter, but All Lives Matter was something completely different. I, it just, how do you pervert a phrase like all lives matter and turn it into something evil? I don't know. How you do that with Black Lives Matter? I don't know. Because Black Lives Matter is is just, just saying those words alone, you, you, you become this entirely different person, this person that has to all of a sudden uh, bend, bend the knee. And, and if you don't, you're racist. And it's just insanity to see that. We didn't even have this much... Um, racial conflict with the OJ case and the OJ case was more uh, politically driven more than racially driven um back then it was it was our understanding um as society or culture that uh OJ got off because he was black um not because they didn't have a sufficient enough evidence that you know for him to have, have committed the murder of his wife um that was an interesting one because there was actually a lot of evidence. He even wrote a book about it afterward. Um, interesting case all, all the way around. Uh, yeah, yeah, the OJ case 
that if there was any racial um, motive behind that and the uh, fact that he was acquitted, it would be the exact opposite of what they're accusing our country and people in law enforcement of this, of doing of, of what's going on here. So, I don't know, whatever. We're either oppressed or not. I don't know. Uh, behind bars for 40 years, probably more like 12 and a half since he has a clean record, that the prosecution must prove Chauvin committed a felony, assault in this case, that led to the death. Jerry's of afraid of the mob. I just saw that. Oh my goodness. That's another thing. Uh, these jurors, man, that's a, those are those are another handful of people that we probably have to be doing a lot of praying for. Um, and praying over and their families and their safety and their security. Um, the judge, the defense attorney, even the, prosecu the, the prosecution um, team. Um, everybody involved needs, needs a lot of prayer. Oh, there's a judge. By a maximum of 10 years, more likely would be four years. Now, if he is convicted in this case, the jury's job is not done. They will have to go back and decide if there were any aggravating circumstances. One could be, were there any children present? We know there was a nine-year-old child. So, yeah, they have to, obviously, come back with a verdict beyond a reasonable doubt that blah, 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 blah. So we'll see what they say. In fact, I'm going to try to turn this up just in case. Okay, I think, I think that's good. Please be seated. That jury has to be shut up right now. Jury, I understand you have a verdict. Members of the jury, I will now read the verdicts as they will appear in the permanent records of the 4th Judicial District. State of Minnesota, County of Hennepin, District Court, 4th Judicial District, State of Minnesota Plaintiff versus Derek Michael Chauvin, Defendant. Verdict, Count 1, Court File Number 27, CR 20-12646. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to Count 1, unintentional second-degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.44 p.m. Signed, juror four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count two. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count two, third degree murder, perpetrating an eminently dangerous act, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021, at 1.45 p.m. Signed by jury four person, juror number 19. Same caption, verdict count three. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count three, second degree manslaughter, culpable negligence, creating an unreasonable risk, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1 45 p.m. Jury four person 019. Members of the jury, I'm now going to ask you individually if these are your true and correct verdicts. Please respond yes or no. Jury number two, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number nine, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 19, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 27, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 44, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 52, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 55, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 79, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 85, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 89, is this your, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 91, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Jury number 92, are these your true and correct verdicts? Yes. Are these your verdicts will tell you once, they'll tell you all? Yes. yes. Members of the jury, I find that uh, the verdict says red reflect the will of the jury and will be filed accordingly. I have to thank you on behalf of the people of the state of Minnesota for not only jury service, but heavy duty jury service. What I'm going to ask you to do so now guilty is of all charges. Well, definitely um, back into your usual room. And I'm those people were scared shitless, and the mob truly, truly, truly has spoken. So, all right for the jury. Wow.
So yeah, basically the exact opposite of the OJ trial. You see it? This is how oppressed Black America is, right? With the guilty verdicts returned, we're going to have uh, Blakely, you may file a uh, written argument as to Blakely factors within one week. The court will issue findings on the Blakely factors, the factual findings. One week after that, we'll order a PSI immediately returnable in four weeks. And we will also have a uh, briefing on, after you get the PSI, six weeks from now, and then eight weeks from now, we will have sentencing. We'll get you the exact dates uh, and schedule in the order. And is there a motion on behalf of the state? So the mob has spoken. Eric Chauvin found guilty of all charges. Um, the man woke up one day and had a job to do. He woke up one day and had a job to protect and serve. That was his job. Now, every other officer that wakes up from this point on will have that same job to do. And we'll have to decide whether they're gonna do it or not because doing it is clearly punishable. Doing your job now is punishable. Defending yourself is punishable. From personal experience, I've gotten in trouble by the law for defending myself. Self-defense, it doesn't exist anymore. And this is a clear example of that. This man's entire life was taken away. Justice was not served today, not one bit. Should he have been found completely innocent and walk scot-free? No, and I only say that because of the last two minutes that he decided to keep himself on that body. The rest of the time, absolutely irrelevant. But that's, how the, that's what they use to play, the, to play your emotions. His, his crying, his bitching, his whining. The same things he probably would have done if he wasn't actually having a heart attack. Good Lord, it's just a tragic situation all the way around. And I still say pray for the country. I still say there's still not going to be enough of a verdict for violence not to occur. Um, I hope not. I hope, you know, we don't see the same type of summer that we saw last year. But, um, you know, e e either way, you know, just just pray, pray, pray for us. We definitely need it. Um, I would encourage you to uh, say a little bit of how trials go, and maybe uh, maybe something of 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 of, of their structure and, and exactly how this wasn't exactly done the way it was supposed to be done, especially with all the outside narrative and all the outside rhetoric, and you know, especially with recently with Maxine Waters saying we need to, you know, basically be more confrontational. I think were her exact words, but you know, so. You know, th there's this. This was a mess, a complete mess, and at least it's over for now. Uh, we can wait and see uh, what happens next, um, as far as his sentencing goes. We can wait and see if they can appeal it, which I'm sure the defense team is going to already you know, be working on that. Um, so yeah, interesting day, and I hope it doesn't turn into an interesting summer. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching with me. Um, I've been your host, 2 O for Off The Mark Podcast. Um, if you liked what you saw, if you enjoyed watching it with me, um, let me know, because I, I truly like doing these with you guys. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You guys stay vigilant. Pray for the country. Promise you, we still got this. All right? We still got this. We're off the mark.